All right. Yahoo! Welcome, everybody. Um, welcome to our team call on August 12th. I am Joy, um, and Andrew's up in the, well, my left-hand corner. <laughs> um, and so we are recording for the benefit of everyone who can't be with us live. I want to kick things off with celebrating each other. So who on the team do you want to shout out and celebrate? Who wants to go first? I will re-shout out Andrea and Heather for actually coming through on the dance-off challenge like, like that suddenly. And the fact that Heather actually mastered a new application in order to do it at the same time is pretty darn impressive. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Way to roll with the unexpected. By the way, I was issued that dance challenge unexpected as well. It popped up in my little DMs and I was like, oh, dang, I, dang. <laughs> it was not planned. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. I loved uh, it. Huh? I loved it. I'm not sure that I danced, but I loved it. It was fun. Um, who else? wants to praise somebody. It can be anybody on the call or not on the call. What was the question? I will. Go ahead. Okay, so she's not on the call, but my friend Devin, who is a new team member for me, um, she's kind of breaking out of her comfort zone and trying something new. I think, especially in teacher world right now, to try something new is pretty stinking great. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Here you go, Devin. Um, I want to shout sure. out Brittany, <laughs> who is also a brand new coach and in our phase one uh, leadership group. Y'all, she did a live video and we had had a conversation oh, yeah. about just how uh, how much anxiety that was causing and she did it and I'm so really I mean I I was like when I saw she went live because I, I gave her permission based on conversation that we had had I said hey you can record a video and just post it because you know I totally get that we're working through some stuff she ripped the band-aid off and then the next thing I know I'm getting this notification that she's live in the group doing her live video and I'm like cheering for her like this is what it's about this is amazing like oh my gosh so um very very proud of you Brittany um who else wants to celebrate somebody I will go for it um I have a gal that just started and she literally uh, was hesitating on money so she did a three-day refresh and um, a vegan sampler, which was hysterical because it was almost the same price as a challenge pack. But um, anyway, it was getting her feet wet and um, she has been posting without even asking in our group. She shared this entire huge paragraph with me, side on a message and said, here's my day one, like, like perfect coach style. Like, here's how I was feeling. This is how my day was. This is what it was by the end of the day. And I was like, this is crazy sauce. And so I told her to share in the group and then she did that for day two and day three. And so I'm like trying to hold back the reins on like, will you be a coach? Because I mean, she just, that's crazy sauce. I love it. Very cool. Um, I thought of another person to celebrate. I really want to celebrate Heather Yaw uh, because you've been showing up in our challenge group and doing lives. You've been giving fit tips. You've been stepping up your game. Like I see a next level leader in you. And I'm really grateful for you getting out of your comfort zone and going for it. So good job. Anybody else? That's who I was going to celebrate because I saw that too. It was just like, I enjoy, um, I friended her on Facebook today, <laughs> but I enjoy um, just seeing her in the group. And then in the phase one leadership, like actually watching everybody's videos. I mean, it just goes back to that connection and that realness of people. Um, and so I really, I like that. I was um, confused because I listened to her live on her takeaway today. And then I read, I read, reread my chapter one and I was like, that's not in my chapter one. And so I think I have like, I think I have an older version of Slide Edge. That's so, possible. That's definitely so possible. I lost track of 
chapter one is like my intro and I already read like the intro and, and the stories last week. So <laughs> I, I'm a little bit ahead, I guess, but um, yeah. It's I funny. Really- it's, it's funny, honey. I read the I read the preface, and the preface actually said that he that in this latest tenth annual edition, he rewrote chapter one. So that's totally possible. Okay. Well, everybody was talking about the beach bum and millionaire, and I was like, um, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get that part. <laughs> so that's okay. That's I, that okay. happened to me with the twenty one irrefutable laws of leadership. I did a a similar group, you know, where we all shared our takeaway from each chapter and I had an old version of the book. And so I was like, ah, you know, it was all. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, anyone else? I don't want to cut it short. Anyone else want to celebrate a fellow teammate? Okay. Well, one of the things that um, I'm super excited about is that we are, it's that whole connection thing that Heidi was referring to. Um, If you're not in the phase one leadership group, it's been very powerful to hear everyone's video and get to know them better and to see them like step out of their comfort zone and, uh, you know, do things that are, you know, making them feel uncomfortable, like going live in the group for the first time. It's just been really, really cool. So I asked Stacia uh, to share her story with everyone because I think it's super powerful for us to begin to get to know each other's story, why we're here, and um, what excites us most about coaching. So are you ready, girl? I think so. Yay, take the floor. Been a crazy day and I might have kids screaming behind me (laughs) unexpectedly. Um, but they're having dinner right now. So, um, my name is Stacia Akers. For those of you, I don't know very well. Um, Liesl and Heather getting to know you, uh, through Facebook more. Um, I started coaching May of last year, but my journey through Beachbody started, I think back in whenever 21 day fix was released on DVD only. I think, yeah, a while back. And I was going through some postpartum depression and I'm a physical therapist by trade. So I help people lead healthier lives and recover from injuries. And I wasn't living my best, healthiest life and I needed to do something. And, you know, how do you do that with a newborn? Can't go to the gym. Well, I couldn't go to the gym. Maybe other people will do that, but that wasn't for me. And so I started 21 day fix and I was able to lose some weight and come out of the depression. And then, you know, years go by, get pregnant again, basically went through the same thing, lost myself again along the way. Um, in the last few years, my youngest is almost five, but I had been struggling a lot, um, with the, the demands of work and marriage and kids, just like everyone else goes through. But, Um, I happened to come across one of Joy's posts on Facebook, um, and at that time it was promoting, well, you weren't promoting, but you know, you were encouraging, uh, to be mindset. And I thought, you know, my problem has never been the exercise. It's been what I stuff into my face and (laughs) how I deal with my feelings more than anything. And through her encouragement, you know, I'm still dealing with that, but I am the um, healthiest I've been in over 10 years, um, both physically and mentally. Um, Coaching really has helped me to open up. Uh, During the day with people, I'm extroverted, but I'm really an introvert. Um, So it's been hard for me to share everything on social media Um, I live in just outside of Portland, Oregon, and I grew up in West Texas. So that's basically two, two far ends of the spectrum politically and, you know, just socially. And so I have to be very careful with what I put on social media. Uh, I can't say anything about, you know, gun violence or anything like that because, oh my God. Um, (laughs) But even just sharing my own struggles, I've received some negative comments, mostly positive, but I feel like 
sharing my life through social media with coaching has made me more accountable to my personal goals. And even though I haven't helped as many people as I would like to by this point, as far as being on my team and customers, you know, I've helped one person and that's, you know, one more than I did. And so I look at coaching as a real blessing because people see my struggles and they resonate with that. Even though I may, they may not tell me that I know that I'm still reaching someone at a personal level. Um, for me, it hasn't been about the money. I didn't go into this to um, quit my job. Sure, not having to work full time is great, um, but my <laughs> my personal goals ran deeper than just the money part. So uh, I feel blessed to be able to be part of this um, movement to just help people in our country, not not just our country, but definitely in our country become healthier because a lot of, you know, I see sick people every day and 95% of it is due to poor lifestyle choices and habits. And so I really love exposing people to a healthier side of living. Um, am I missing anything, Joy? <laughs> that was awesome. No, that was really, really awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And I'm so grateful you said yes. And yes, I do understand that tension uh, between the, the Texas viewpoint versus the Pacific Northwest viewpoint, because we've lived in both places. But, you know, we kind of, Andrew and I, um, Andrew's a little more daring, or he puts a little more of his opinion out there than I do. But I'm always of the opinion, like, if it's polarizing, then I'm not going to, you know, share that kind of stuff on social media. Um, because I want to be a place of positivity and acceptance and love and stuff. So, yeah. Sometimes that's just hard because you do have an opinion on some of these things, but yeah, I totally get what you're saying. We, I have a taxi cab story that I could share with you at some point <laughs> of a wedding that we went to um, in Oregon. So anyway, oh wow, that's for another day and a glass of wine. Yeah. Um, I wanted to just really quick make sure everyone knew that there is a Emerald and Twenty Four call on Wednesday. Um, so if you have anyone on your team who has not achieved that yet, they need to get on the call because every week that you delay achieving Emerald, you are letting money just flow right past your business center that you will never, ever be able to see again. Um, so it's very important to get that done as soon as possible. Um, and then we also have a back to school free group happening on Monday. Um, and so this is for like our free community group that we all uh, done different challenges together as a team. It is going to be very, very simple. So like there's a daily back to school tip and then there's a daily wellness tip. There will not be like a fitness challenge to this. It's just going to be a way to bless people and help them kind of get organized. I feel like especially with back to school, you know, we'll of course have a meal plan or something to share with them that they can use if they want. But I feel like less is more for back to school because I don't know about you, but Andrew just blew up my email last night. I had I woke up and I had like a hundred emails from my husband with every single water polo meet and appointment and meeting and practice for the next year. And I, I did like, not do I did not do practices. Those are all tournaments. Well, that's even more alarming. So my anxiety level of like when all the emails start coming in, cause I'm like one of those people who like likes to get the email out right away and not see it ever again. <laughs> so less is more for back to school. Um, so it'll be a great way to just bless people and help them kind of focus on just a, one or two things a day that can really make a big impact um, over the next school year. So that is available to everyone. Um, anyone can invite to that. Anyone can add to the group. Um, I skipped the walkthrough at campus. Oh, heck yeah. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do back to school night. I don't meet the teacher. I do none of that. Just so you know, that's the kind of mom I am because I have PTSD from a meet the teacher <coughs> night in elementary school that I, I just will never do it again after that night. So that's a story for another day. 
real PTSD, people. Like it happens. Yeah, <laughs> that respect, but I get it. Yep. Um. So now I think those are the only two kind of like timely things that I needed to make sure everyone knew about and had on their radar in case you wanted to partake. And Andrew is going to take over and talk about something. He might start yelling. I have to just preface that. He might start talking very loudly. So you might want to just have your volume ready. But so, um, <laughs> let me clarify that and tell you that it's almost certain that's going to happen. He's very excited about the six weeks of work, which I'm so grateful for because quite honestly, I am like, again, overwhelmed with back to school stuff. So the fact that Andrew has been able to get on top of this and put together a system for all of us is amazing. So I'm really excited for him to share his hard work with you because he's been working really hard on this over the past two weeks. Okay. Love you, babe. Take it over. Love you too. Okay, so I think the one thing you didn't share, Joy, was that we're doing the sneak peek on Sunday, the 25th, I think it is. Oh yeah, is I was gonna share that Sunday. next week, but yes, we are doing a sneak peek this month. Um, it will be in a Facebook group, and I'm gonna be tapping some of you on the shoulder to share your story in five minutes or less in a little live video. And then we'll do an actual like one hour event uh, within that Facebook group. So, um, yeah, that's going to be coming up soon. Okay. Um, cool. So as we kind of shift gears a little bit, this is your chance for, look, there's Stacia. Um, this is your chance for all of you with littles around. I want you to mute your computer for like the next minute, if you're not, because we're going to watch this video real quick, and then we're going to start talking about how we're going to attack this thing. So again, if you. I got no volume. You can't hear the volume? It's probably good. <laughs> it's because you, you do PC, you're not Mac. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Okay. So hopefully you've unmuted your 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 computer at this point or, or turned off the volume. Um, obviously, this is a very, very different feel than Morning Meltdown 100 with Jericho. We've got an entirely different package, an entirely different um, release format. Everything about this program is different than what we've dealt with. So I, I'm going to propose that we're taking a very different approach to how we are dealing with this. Now, the first couple of things we've just got to address as a group and just understand September 30th, when this actually launches for coaches, is day 63 of the morning meltdown. So the idea that we're going to have a bunch of coaches that will go and sign up for this one for that early release and go straight into it, unless they're animals like Heather on the phone, who has been planning for this and doing doubles the whole time, you know, they're, they're not going to be ready for this. And let's face it, it's going to be a different um, quite honestly, a, a possibly a different audience that's going to be coming into this. And let's all, and the other aspect to it is, you know, we, one of the things we do know, and I got to be honest, I was really hoping on the national wake up call, they were going to give us more information on packs, et cetera, that didn't happen. But, um, we do know that there is a fitness test involved with this one. Not everyone is going to be a great candidate for this particular program. Now, with all of that said, one of the things we are highly recommending for this one 
is that we attack this as a group instead of trying to do this as individuals. And where this is coming from is, you know, Tony Robbins says success leaves clues. And where I don't recommend necessarily taking this approach in your day-to-day -day life, um, I may have been accused of stalking several people over the last couple weeks. Um, the first set would be um, Jamie and Kim Fitzpatrick. If you don't know who the Fitzpatricks are, to give you a little bit of background on them, they were this year's CEO award winners. Um, Jamie is the number one coach in the network for the last actually four years. Um, Kim is right now the number one coach in Canada, and they are currently both in the top 15 when you look at the Success Club. But the number that actually jumps out at me when I really talk with them, and I've been, I'm, we're joined our fortunate to call them uh, friends at this point. Kim, not Jamie and Kim, Kim with the launch of Morning Meltdown 100, had 206 individual success club points. Just her. She sold 103 challenge packs and equipped her entire team. Their team actually had the number one volume of success club points and challenge packs when Morning Meltdown 100 came out as well. So again, kind of thinking about the Tony Robbins aspect, success leaves clues. I really kind of stalked them and talked to them a little bit about, okay, what were they doing that was different and how can we help support that? Especially knowing that a lot of your challenge groups out there will be in the middle of morning meltdown 100 and we don't necessarily want to, you know, steamroll those and suddenly go to the next one. We want everybody to have success in the programs they're doing. So I kind of really dissected what they do and worked with them and, and really it comes down to a couple different things. They are very systemic on when they think about a work launch time frame. So with that time frame being the fact that, you know, today is August 12th. That's where we're at right now. And the work drops on September 30th. We have roughly eight weeks between now and the dropping of this program. And we need to be actively doing a lot of things over the course of that time. And this hopefully will be a class in, you know, how do we kind of set that up? Well, I've already been doing a bunch of different things with this. So for example, one of the things we'll talk about, and I'll walk you through these, is there's already a Rising Phoenix Coach Info page. This is a Facebook group. I know, another Facebook group. This is a Facebook group for coaches who are interested in recruiting for the work whether that's one person or if you're going to be the top coach in all of the work, this is what it's at. This will be your resource where you can find um, full story packages, the move of the day, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, before and after results that I've been able to find, all these different things. So as I've been stalking people, I've been pulling this stuff down, it's all gonna be there. It is also a dedicated spot to talk about everything that is working or not working when it comes to recruiting to this particular group. It's going to be kind of our internal hub as coaches to share that. Now, in addition to that though, what you'll notice is there's going to, there is a landing page that you can refer people to. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So as you gain interest, hey, I'd like to know more. Boom, here you go. It's not branded with Team Rising Phoenix. It's completely generalized. You'll have no problem sending people there. And then we're gonna do a group VIP preview group. This is where you're going to put any interested person. We'll talk about what it takes to get involved with that, um, how we're gonna keep track of everyone of who's, who's being sent by whom. Um, but this is where we're gonna, we're gonna sell to them. This is where we'll be posting on the different opportunities and packages. We'll be posting on how great Mom Crack Energize is. We'll be posting on the benefits of Shakeology. This is where they're basically giving us permission to continue to sell with them even before Beachbody is actually um, presenting that. Those are actually all live right now. All of those are up and running. I've actually already been adding people to a couple of those, those groups in there. Now, six weeks out, and this is terrifying to me, on August 19th, seven days from now, we are actually six weeks before the program drops. Most of these programs we've been dealing with, we would have already been doing hashtag hunting. I'll talk about that in a second. You know, focusing on the move of the day, because remember when before morning meltdown dropped and everyone found out, oh, there's bolt burpees. And everybody started posting pictures of bolt burpees. And, you know, we were suddenly hashtag, you know, everyone started following the hashtag MM100 test group because they wanted to see everyone's results. The work doesn't have a test group. There aren't any results out there we can take. So I've actually also been stalking Amala Caesar. 
Um, he is the trainer, by the way, you say his name, Amala. Um, we literally have a conversation going on Instagram at this point um, because I have been kind of stalking him and posting him on stuff. And I've been going to find out what his moves are and his go-to. And I've got them. I've been putting them up on my stories. I've been saving them. They're all in that uh, coach info page that I'll share with you in just a second. But we're going to have to steal those types of results and use those in that results. Here's, here's the thing. I'm, I can't imagine that Beachbody will not be telling us how we can make these purchases on September 30th by September 1st. So I believe that by September 1st, we'll be putting all of that information into the VIP preview page. So again, that's where you're putting all your customers um, or potential customer. I take that. Check that. You'll be putting all your potential new coaches because remember, September 30th is for the coach preview. So anyone we're attracting now actually needs to become a coach in order to actually become a part of the work on September 30th. Something else we need to talk, we'll, we'll talk about. Um, but we'll have the preview workouts, everything live in there. And then there's a couple options here. I am going to start, and we're going to be promoting that we're going to start a shift shop group on September 9th which means that in September, we'll be able to sign people up or get them on quarterly BOD or whatever the case may be to get them starting on shift shop to get ready for the work to drop on the 30th. Three weeks before then, a full round of shift shop is September 9th. I'm going to throw it out there for the group. I'm personally, I think, going to do a week of Sean week as a free group on the 2nd through the 9th. So free week of Sean group going straight into shift shop, going straight into the work um, as those kind of drops down. So that is the timeline that we're looking at. It seems crazy to me that October is that close, but the reality is October is that close. So working back, we really need to start our promotion to really get ahead of this thing beginning really Monday. Um, so let's talk about what all these look like. And like I said, all of these are actually up and live. In fact, I'm going to go, well, let's listen to this. So the coach info group, this is the Coach Invo group face. When we are done with this call, I will send invitations out to everybody to join that group. So you don't necessarily need to take this down. But in that group, what you're going to experience is be able to see, okay, what are the coach resources? Um, I've, the stories that you're seeing flow through the screen right now. Those are already done. I've used them. I've actually had four responses from just that story page. I've put it up once at this point. Um, posts that are working, interaction with other coaches. This is where the video clips are going up. I posted a video clip today, actually right while we were getting on the call, of one of the, one of the moves. So I've gone through, like I said, and dissected that um, preview video and pulled out different moves that we can do to be previewing and be able to allege. Some of them, I'll tell you straight up, are hard. Like there was one that Joy and I both had to like try like 17 times and the blooper reel is worth it just by itself of us trying that stupid run move thing. I'm gonna master that thing by the time it's done. Um, I've also been going through and pulling Amala's uh, previous training clips. One really cool story with Amala, he's helped his brother lose over 100 pounds. Um, really kind of cool story. He's helped NBA stars, et cetera, but he is all about family. Yes, they're kind of promoting the explicit swearing thing. Yes, Amal does that, but the more I'm kind of getting to know him a little bit, his, his heart is good. He's, he's got a really, really good heart in this. But again, that's Coach Info Group. That's for us. That is, I got a question. I got that. I'm going to be all over that group. I'm going to be posting in and out. I, I have a very lofty goal of what I want to do with this program. Um, so I'm going to be in that and running it and giving all kinds of ideas and, and goals with that. Now, that's not where we put recruiting. So I want to talk about this recruiting workflow a little bit because I don't think we often think in systems other than did you invite, what are you putting them in? Did you buy it? What are you putting them in? So let's think about this for a little bit. When we're talking about the sales funnel within Beachbody, you know, that starts with attraction. It starts with a plan on having consistent stories, post engagement, and then direct invitations from those stories and those post engagement. If you're throwing stories out there and you got 150 people looking at them and you're not talking to those 150 people, that is not engagement on stories that will drive anything. You've got to be able to drive that. That's why things like, you know, the success club system track, or even if it's simple as writing names down on there is huge. If you're using streak, go for it. My connection builder, a Google doc, whatever it is, but you need to be following up on these people, especially people who say yes. Cause remember, 
we don't know what they're going to say yes to first. We've got to get them into coaching. So obviously you've got some things. You've got not today. Put them on a tickle sheet, follow up, up with them later. They're, they're good. But if they either say, I would like to know more or I'm in, the pathway for you to use to be able to start this, at least at this point, is to get them feeding into the, um, the landing page. I do want you guys to pay attention to that link there. That link is available in the coach resource page, in the VIP page, because what this actually is, I'll actually take you to it live. Um, so this is the actual page live. And this, as you can see, because I went directly to it, it is on the backside of our website, but when they go on this website, there's no Joy and Drew on it, there's no Rising Phoenix. It is all branded for you know the six weeks of the work and okay, how can you reserve your spot? And okay, what is it, you know, getting awesome results and understanding, okay, what are the important dates they're gonna need, even exposing to them that, hey, you can wait till Q1 of 2020 to get this if you want. But one of the big things to this entire thing is when you see all these wonderful, hey, join the VIP info group, hey, join the VIP info group, hey, join the VIP info group. So when they do that and they actually click this, and guys, I've already had two people do this. It takes them directly to this page here on the VIP info group. Now, this is the customer facing one. This is also, if they had actually gone in and done this, I want to bring this up real quick so you can see this. Um, obviously, I'm already in it. So therefore, I didn't get asked the questions. But when someone actually comes in and, the, and they go there for the first time, they're going to ask three questions that come into this. You know, first and foremost, what awesome coach invited you to this? This obviously is a big one because we want to make sure that we're attributing the right people to the right things. There's not going to be direct links that we're sharing in that VIP access group. So we're not going to say, hey, link here to actually sign up. It's going to be get with your coach, et cetera. But we're going to do a lot of the call outs of, hey, raise your hand if you're ready. So that, that way we can, as an admin, go look at that. Oh, it was um, Gabriel who said that. Gabriel was referred to Andrew. Andrew, make sure you follow up and get him the personalized link or the share a card that gets him hooked up for that. Um, obviously, your current coach, client, new group. What excites you more? program. Um, again, you guys are all going to get the link to this group as well. I need you guys in these groups because part of what is going to be fan is going to be fantastic about this is we can create that excitement around these opportunities. We can be sharing within there. We can be making the posts and comments that build for each other. And most importantly for the, um, the partners that are actually going into these pages. So again, as you look at this, let me go back to it. It's pretty light right now because we don't have a whole ton of stuff. So they're gonna get an intro video from me. I'm so glad they found us, but this is where we'll start putting more and more content in directly into this tool. Again, this just got opened up. So we've only got a couple members that are in there right now. Um, yeah, that's, what, that's the guy, cold invite from Instagram that saw my stories that I had posted on that page and are, are in there. Um, where again, you're gonna start, you go away, Mr. Control Bar. I want you somewhere else. So those two are that. Let's look at the coach group in here. So in the coach group, again, is where we, that's, this is us, this is safe zone. This is ask a question, figure out what's working, figure out what's not working. Joy, are you monitoring the chat? Just nod your head, because I'm not. Um, but like, Today's, today's move of the day. Um, and literally guys, all I'm doing, and I know it's crazy, I'm literally pressing play on that preview video, holding my phone up and recording it, and splitting them up in iMovie. And it's been crazy the amount of engagement that I've actually been getting in some of those stuff. Um, but we'll post those in there. You can see that full storyline that I gave you is already posted in here. You can be able to save, save those down. Um, this is, you know, a post you guys can leverage if you guys want to be able to put that. So I'm going to be continuing to develop these as we get more and more information. There is the bit.ly link for the, um, the landing page we talked about as we go through. 
Um, now again, this is a different approach. I fully get that. And it's an approach that's worked for the top teams to work as a team developing these. Um, but more importantly, I think that I, I think by doing, and by the way, the other thing that we, that I'm, I think we should heavily consider, and I've already said that is doing one challenge group as team rising Phoenix for six weeks of work. That way you're not dealing with confusion in your challenge groups. We're going to, everyone's going to participate in it. Um, I'm more than happy to help kind of run that and, and lead the way with it. We can talk about scheduling posts, et cetera. But that way there's not that confusion. If you're running a morning meltdown 100 group and everyone's really happy and go lucky in that one. And they're doing, you know, the, the cardio flow or the, or the, the stretching flow one. And then suddenly you're not have somebody who comes in and go, Holy crap, I'm all just kicked my butt. You know, and these different things to keep those sections. So we'll probably run that as a single group. I realized I've talked really fast and I tried not to look, raise my voice like super high in all this because this, this program really does get me excited. And I'll say what also does truly get me super excited is being able to leverage this new process. Because again, we've seen this process work for others and I wanna hopefully bring this as a step up level for us as well. So at this point, one of the things that you should be asking is, well, Andrew, there was a whole lot of friggin' dates in there on that timeline. What, the, what, are, we, what are we inviting to? Like, what, what are we actually talking about? There are really, in my mind, four things or really three things as far as events go that we have the opportunity to invite to. We can focus on doing a free Sean T week before we actually start shift shop on the night. That's the first one. Inviting people to join us in, in shift shop really is going to be for those who are ready. They're the ones who say I'm in for the work. Let's go. But they say that on September 1st. You don't want them to wait 30 days before starting something on there. So let's make sure we're getting them in. That will also give us the opportunity to build momentum around that, um, the build up for it as well. Uh, there is the, you know, if you've got someone who is towards the end and let's say they're signing up on the 17th, 18th, 19th of September, um, you could consider, and I could be open to, I'm not married to this idea, but we could be open to the idea of, okay, well, we can do another Shanti week, another Shanti week, the week before the work actually drops. Not be people who are signing up early. Those would be your late sign uppers who can be dialed in because again, on the 30th, it's gonna drop. But the other thing I want everyone to really process, we need to be inviting to the coach opportunity for this. If someone, there is no customer challenge pack that gets them into the six weeks of the work on September 30th. That is not the case. If they're gonna be a customer, we need to talk about what other program they can do, but it's gonna to drop to customers in Q1 of 2020. They have not released that date uh, just yet, um, but this is for the coach opportunity. Questions, comments, thoughts? This is a little different. I like that one. I'll look at the chat here real quick too. Hey Andrew, did you say um, did you say August nineteen would be kind of like the week to kind of start posting, sharing, blah blah blah? Okay. Yeah. So so typically you want to start really ramping up your social media presence. And actually we need to talk about that. Typically you want to start ramping up your social media presence about six weeks before a program drops for full efficacy. Six weeks is next Monday. So that's the, that's the 19th. Now, one of the things that Joy and I were talking about, and I'm going to put this in the, in the coach group, um, is who should we be targeting for this type of a workout? Um, in my mind, this is more of your extreme fitness nuts. So think CrossFit. Think um, uh, I'm blanking on the other ones now. Um, but what I'm going to do is what you should do now during this process is do what I call hashtag hunting. So this hashtag hunting is, and again, I'll put a list of commonly used hashtags in the CrossFit community, in the um, in the martial arts community and those types of things where 
I want you to go not necessarily follow every one of those hashtags. That is not what you're doing. You're not spamming those hashtags trying to find everyone. I want you to look at those hashtags and hunt. Who is using those hashtags that you resonate with? Because they would more likely resonate back with you. I promise you, I'm going to resonate with people utilizing those hashtags that are different than the people Joy would resonate utilizing those hashtags. Um, different mindsets, different approaches on this kind of kind of stuff. So, but you're going to want them to necessarily follow back because you want them seeing your seeing your stuff. Normally, we might follow the test group. Like I said, there is no test group. So, a lot of the messaging that we're going to create and use around this is this is so awesome, I get to be a part of the test group for this. Because guess what? You all get to be a part of the test group for this. Everybody does who's starting on, on the 30th. That's the cool part about this. Um, and here's the other thing I would, I would encourage all of you, if you're serious about really leveraging this product, I actually think this is one of the first ones where there will really truly be the opportunity for two launches. And Joy and I haven't even really talked about this yet. Um, because it is only launching for coaches on September 30th, there will be an entire customer launch in Q1. You have the opportunity to crack down for six weeks and get some awesome results. And I, I can tell you, as someone who's on the sizzle reel for Shift Shop, those results got at least my personal best recruiting month ever was after shift shop because I was sharing those results as we were going through that test group, treating it as a test group. And we're going to continue that VIP page or not VIP page, pardon me, the coach page as a way to really ramp that up. This is a fitness first business. Um, as, as Rob Pearson said on the wake up call last week and having those results will drive your business. So I think that even if we don't have, even if you don't personally have a ton of people in you know, the coach group that we end up running, your own personal transformation or debt, not even transformation, probably too strong, um, you know, personal results from a program like this will serve you very, very, very well during the Q1 when we launch it to clients. Because here's what's also happening in Q1. Again, thinking strategically. The other thing they're releasing around Q1 is that bar program. They're not doing a preview on that one. So you'd be able to use your results from this program to promote to clients who are more um, aggressive in their mindset while still doing the bar program when you're actually doing because you would have already gotten those results. So again, I, I think this is probably the most strategic this is probably the launch we need to be the most strategic about because it is so different and it is, I think, the way that Beachbody is going to continue to go. I think we're going to see a lot more programs, but a lot less test groups um, and just pumping out content that we can focus in around. Yes, Delise, you can be in the group. We want everyone, if you have people in the group, we want you in the group to oh, yeah. contribute to the energy and, you know, you whether you do a sweaty selfie in there, you know, as well as Forever Fit or whatever your personal group is, that's totally fine. We want to keep the energy for this group up super high. So what we do not want is for you to dump your people and leave. <laughs> We want you to be in the group participating, recognizing when they participate, commenting on it. That's how you get really great coaches is if you are engaged in their process and their transformation. Um, if you, you know, dump and run, they don't know us, you know. My favorite story to tell of that was To Be Mindset launch, and we all had a combined group similar to this leading up to the launch. And some of Robin's friends, you know, as we got close to the, the purchase date, um, I, I was close to there like, who's excited about tomorrow? Because we were all going to buy. And one of Robin's friends was very, um, you know, just honest. And was like, I don't know who you are, but I know Robin. Robin's amazing. And if I could just be happy with who she is, then that would, like, be amazing for my life. And you know, that just speaks so much value. Like relationship is everything in this business. And so it doesn't matter. That's why like doing team led groups is so very powerful because they have the relationship with you. We all can have an abundant mindset. There's nobody jockeying for, 
have a better relationship with your people. Yeah, that question was just that question was just coming from. I don't think I'm. I mean, as much as I want to do the program, I want to finish MM100 because I mean, I can't seem to get a result. I can't seem to finish a program. Yeah, I know it's really weird how the, this is rolling yeah. out. But yeah, like you guys being in the group is super powerful. About that took me on a tangent. Had nothing to do with you. It just took me on a massive okay. tangent. <laughs> and a soapbox. <laughs> Um, how long are the workouts? I don't know. Uh, we, we do know. We do know they're going to be between 20 and 40 minutes, primarily towards the short end. Oh, thank God. That just means he's going to crush us. <laughs> the shorter the workout, the harder it is. Y'all, he's got some workouts that I've seen with other, with like NBA clients where I'm like, oh, I got to try that. <laughs> Any other questions? I don't know. Is any any cardio harder than Shanti? It's like the hardest cardio in my life. I know. I'm just curious, like, what kind of – I mean, I get the CrossFit people, but since I haven't personally done CrossFit, all I know is that it's injury-prone. But is, there, is it weighted as well, Andrew? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so if you, if you watch the preview video, they're using weights, they're using yeah. bands, they're using cardio moves. Um, yeah. So, yes, I would expect compound movements. Um, you're not going to go real heavy on this because the movements he has with the weights, mm -hmm. all compounded. Like, they're, they're, I haven't seen a single isolation in anything he does. Um, and again, the, well, we've broken down a bunch of those moves and put them in as moves of the days, and, and I'm actually kind of posting in that group as we're talking. Yeah. Okay. Crazy town. Okay, one last thing. Circling, making full circle back to the dance-off thing. I want you guys to download an app called Triller, T-R-I-L-L-E-R, because we will be doing this more and more. The cool thing about... Um, initiatives like this, you know, like the dance off or whatever, is that it, it gives us an opportunity to show that, like, that we actually have a team that we are, like, it's not just us by ourselves <laughs> that we can have fun. And honestly, the more fun that you can show people, the more they're going to want to be a part of it, right? Like, you got to make it fun. Triller, T. R I L L E R. So basically, what you do, you can do like a music video. There's a little button on there, and you have to, if you want it to splice for you, you could do the whole video in one cut, and it would do it for you. But if you wanted to like videotape yourself singing that that same sound bite multiple times, it has like a shuffle option. And so it'll just pull different clips and shuffle it all together. To make it it's, you can't, you know, hurt anything by playing around with it, but it's a fun little app. Okay, cool. Something new to try. Any other questions? These are so quiet. Okay. I do have a question. So, so this, the group, the leader group, the um, phase one, I guess I thought that's what this was. This is the team meeting. I just want to be sure. Yes. Saturday, <laughs> are we having a phase one leader meeting? I, maybe not. That's just in the page. Awesome. Thank God. Okay. Yay. Awesome. Nope. nope. That is all just about accountability and you doing your stuff. Okay, cool. So. All right, we don't need to be on 10 million calls a week. <laughs> All right, guys, having said that, we've taken up an hour of your evening. We appreciate your time. Go snuggle with your family. Get excited about all the fun stuff coming up. And thank you, Andrew, for putting all this together for our team. I know it was a lot of work. So love you, babe. Bye, everybody.